Hello family, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always a great honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. God is speaking to someone. He says, when you find it, everyone will come rushing for you. When you find it, everyone will come rushing for you. Father, we thank you for your word that is about to come forth. I pray that you speak to someone by the release of this word. And I pray that as they listen to this word, their hearts will not be hardened. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. There is something that happens when you find what is written of you. There is something that happens when you discover your purpose. You become so useful and so instrumental, people cannot do without you. You become so useful. I mean, the attention of men are on you. I realized something, that when you have not yet discovered your purpose, life becomes somewhat, I mean, life is somewhat worthless. You don't have anything to live for and you don't have anything to die for. You're just living your life one day at a time. There is no cause. There is no, I mean, there is no propelling factor. There is no, there is nothing that uh, 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 motivates you to, to go on the other day. I mean, you just live for self. And my father always says that living for self is living for small. If you have not found something worth dying for, then you living doesn't make much sense anyways. A man starts living a real and impactful life when they find what is worth dying for. And God is saying to someone that when you find the reason for your existence, they will come rushing you. They will come rushing you. The Bible says Jesus got into the temple. He opened the scriptures and he found what was written of him. He read a passage where it was said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Let me try to see if I can get that passage. It says, the spirit of, of the Lord is upon me. It has anointed me to set the captives free. I'm not sure I'll be able to get that um, right now. I'm not sure I'll be able to get that right now. All right, I got it. Luke chapter 4 and verse 18 to 19, it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has appointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to announce, capti to announce that captives shall be released and the blind shall be free, so shall be free, that the downtrodden shall be freed from their oppressors, and that God is ready to give blessings to all who come to him. He Listen, now this is the part. He's, the, the Bible says, He closed the book and handed it back to the attendant and sat down while everyone in the synagogue gazed at him intensely. They gazed at him intensely because he had seen what was written of him. He had found out what was written of him. I don't know, maybe you're watching me and you're praying to God. You're trying to find out what is your purpose. You are trying to find out why were you created. You're trying to make meaning out of your life. I have a prayer for you. I pray that God will open your eyes to discover what was written of you in the name of Jesus. I pray that even as you read the word of God, there shall be a, an enlightenment in your spirit. There shall be a revelation that will reveal to you your purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that even as Jesus opened the word of God and found what was written of him, that as you open the Bible to study, as you go about your daily activities, as you try to meet the needs of people around you, that God will reveal to you what your your real purpose is in the mighty name of Jesus and I pray that when you discover this purpose God will strengthen you to go on this journey 
of impact this journey to more in jesus mighty name may the lord bless you and keep you cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace in jesus mighty name amen